Hello, it's Adia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a brand review on Typology. I featured a Typology product, I don't know how long ago, maybe like two, three months ago. And I mentioned that I purchased several things from the brand and I asked you all if you'd be interested in hearing like a brand review of all the other products that I bought. And People said yes, so here we are. Like I said, it's been maybe like three months since I bought all these products, so I do feel like I have enough information to give my thoughts, what I ended up using, what I didn't use, what I would repurchase, what I wouldn't repurchase. So let's just get started and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. So I have everything that I got in this case. This is not from Typology. This is an Estee Lauder case. But anyways, all right, let's get started. I'm going to go with what I use the most and then I'll go from there to what I ended up using the least. So my most used product by far is the seven ingredient micellar water. Here it is. I really like this. I'm over halfway done with this and I use this on mornings when I don't work out. So I work out about like five days a week. So today is Sunday. Today I did not work out. So in the morning, instead of using like a cleanser to wash my face, I just use this on a reusable bamboo round and I really like this. It's super, super light. And it's kind of like you might think all my cellar waters are the same, but they're not. This one feels the most like water compared to other ones that I've used. And I just really like how light it is. It doesn't really have a detectable scent. It does not leave any residue on the face. So I really, really like this and I could see myself repurchasing this because I really love micellar water. It's something I always have on hand and this one is really, really good. So definitely use this a lot and recommend it. All right, next up, I'm gonna talk about this little guy. This is um, active charcoal 2%. <laughs> And it is, this is just 15 milliliters. And so this is for whitening your teeth. And so how I would use this is in the evenings, I would put like one or two drops on my toothbrush with my normal toothpaste and brush my teeth. And I liked using this. I liked that it was a more gentle tooth whitener and something that I could use daily. I cannot say that I've seen like brightening or whitening of my teeth. Um, but I do really like this. I do think it's something that's more just like a daily thing to keep like new stains from coming onto your teeth as opposed to something that's going to provide like significant whitening. But I do believe that Charcoal does help in whitening products. And so I like that this did not sensitize my teeth at all or anything like that. And it was something that was like very easy to add to my routine. I do drink coffee daily. And so I feel like it is important to have something that's like whitening to keep my teeth from being stained. Like I think my teeth look pretty nice. They could definitely be whiter, but you know, I'm, I'm happy with my teeth, but I do use this a lot and I have enjoyed using this. Something else that's in my nightly routine is this plant-derived keratin 1% plus hyaluronic acid 2%. This is um, hydration and fortification hand and nail serum. This I really, really like. So I think I bought this right around the time I went to Mexico. And the first time I went to Mexico, I had gotten Gel X nails and they, I also got like nail tips put on. So, and then when I removed all of that, my nails were super damaged. I didn't love the nail tech that I went to. And I do think she used too much glue when she was putting the nail tip onto my nail. And so my nails were super, super thin. They were like, 
really, um, they were really soft and they were very damaged. And so I was using this every night, just in my evening routine. I would basically take like a couple drops and put it on the back of my hand, on each hand. And I would just like go like this, put it into my nail beds and put it into the back of my hand. And I would do that on each hand. I think this really did help with my nails because when you're using like fake nails or even if you're not using fake nails, your actual nail can get very dry and that can weaken it and make it break and all of that. So I do think something that's hydrating the nails and the cuticles is super important. And I really like this one because it's a gel, like a watery kind of feeling. So it doesn't leave your hands greasy the way if you're using like a cuticle oil can. So I really like this. This is something that I keep like right in my bathroom right next to my hand soap and lotion and so at night I use this and I like this and I would recommend this and even using it so regularly I've only made like maybe a one third away that I've used up so I think that this product will last a long time also so definitely recommend this one. So this is the salicylic acid 2% and zinc 1%. It's um targeted blemish face serum and um this is only use pm but i sometimes use this in the morning but um i do use spf and i'm not really outside that much but anyways it's salicylic acid and zinc i know that for my skin salicylic acid and zinc work really well in um, dealing with blemishes. Like my skin responds very well to salicylic acid. So this is something that I like to use just kind of on my T-zone. That's the area where if I break out, I'll get breakouts. And especially notice on my nose, I get little tiny like whiteheads sometimes, or just like, they're not like full on pimples, but it's more just like areas of congestion. So I think that this serum works really well for this. If I notice that I have little like small little bumps i'll put this on at night and it really does clear it out because again when i get breakouts i think it's more congestion and not like active acne so this works really really well it's a very light thin consistency so it just kind of layers nicely doesn't irritate anything and so i would recommend this one also Okay, now we're getting to the products I ended up just not really incorporating much into my routine. So first off, there is this organic Roman chamomile hydrolate, and this is a sooth it's soothing, and it's a face hydrolate obtained by steam distillation of organic Roman chamomile. And so I got this because I was like, this will be great just to soothe my skin if my skin is ever irritated. And as it turns out, my skin is just not irritated that much. I don't have sensitive skin. I thought that this would be a really good like post sun kind of product just to calm and soothe the skin. I have used it a couple of times. I was happy with it, but I just have not needed it very much. And so it's just not something that I've reached for a lot. But I do think if you have really sensitive skin, this would be something worth looking into because chamomile is very soothing. So I can't say it's bad, but I can't say it's great because I just ended up not using it very much. Next, I have the seven ingredient cleansing oil. And what are the ingredients on here? Okay, so I love a cleansing oil. I've used this like once i wasn't mad at it but wasn't super wowed by it so that's why i haven't gone back to it i have a, a cleansing balm that's already open that i'm trying to work my way through and still in this like work from home time i'm not really wearing a lot of makeup regularly and lately i found that when i do double cleanse I've just been using my Glossier Milk Jelly Cleanser because I'm almost done with like two bottles. I have two nearly empty bottles. So I've been just trying to use those up. So I'll usually use that first and then I'll either use it again a second time or just use another cleanser that I have from Kinship. 
I think that's what it's called. Kinship. Yeah. So that's just kind of what I've been doing if I feel the need to really double cleanse or get off makeup. So I can't really say how much I like this. I know I wasn't wowed by it, but it's not bad, but it's just something that I haven't incorporated into my routine. And lastly, I have the Tinted Serum. So this is the product that I featured in my video a couple months ago. And this is nice. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I think I just don't love the tone. And so I think that's why I don't reach for it as much. Because the thing is, is this one right here, it's like, it's a little too dark for the center of my face at this point. I think when I first used this, I had just come back from Mexico. So I was more tan and so this worked really well but now that tan has faded and so this is just i feel like it's a little too dark for the center of my face so if i use this then i feel like i need to go back and like highlight and typically what i like to do with my face is either i like to use a concealer that's my that's this color basically and i'll use that just around the center of my face and nothing else or i'll use something that does match the perimeter of my face and then i'll go back and highlight or brighten in the center of my face if needed but just lately when i do feel the need to put like complexion products on I just haven't wanted to do a full face and then do a lighter concealer. I've just been more into like spot concealing. So that's why I just haven't reached for it just because this shade isn't working for me as well right now. Don't get me wrong, I could use this all over my face, but I just find that when something is a little too dark around the eyes, it really is obvious. And I basically will have to cover my whole face and I don't like having to put product like over my eye, especially this part right here, it'll be really obvious if the product is too dark. And so it's just something I just don't feel I don't want to be bothered <laughs> basically but it's a nice product it has a nice finish it's really nice but it's just the tone is not my favorite at the moment so that's why i haven't been using it that much but that's it i can just say overall i like the quality of the products i feel like they're very simple they're very straightforward they do have interesting products that I haven't seen. Like for instance, the hand and nail, nail serum. I haven't seen other brands with something like that. So I think that's really cool. I think the price point is very fair for what you get. I think it's very good quality. And, you know, I don't have any complaints about anything. It's just that some things I just haven't felt the need to use as much, but I can't make any I can't say anything bad about the quality or the efficacy of the products that I have used thus far. So that's my recap on Typology. They have a lot more interesting products. They recently came out with several like body care products that I do think I want to look into because like I said, I feel like they have really unique products. So let me know if you've tried Typology. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I actually think they came out with a concealer now that I'm thinking about it. So maybe I'll try to find a lighter concealer to see if maybe I'll get more use out of the tinted serum. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and let me know what you'd like to see next. And I'll see you in the next one.